Hello and welcome to another episode of the beloved series <laughs> that has how many episodes? Two? <laughs> Two. Okay, now it's three. Cinema Jetta! Hi! Good day, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Good evening, I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's. What time is it? Showtime. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, it's almost midnight and we are here to bring you another episode. Auf Cinema Jetta! Yay! That's why I'm here. That's who me. Else? <laughs> yeah, who else? Loki is here as well, but she doesn't want to. Too. There she is. <laughs> it's always a mess. <laughs> yeah. So, what movie did we see today? We just came back from the cinema and we saw Kang Skull Island, which yes. I had very <laughs> high expectations for. I didn't have any expectations. I <laughs> which didn't is even probably watch the trailer. <laughs> a very good plan not to have any expectations. <laughs> I should try that sometime. Yeah. A spoiler, spoiler alert! alert. <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie, Watch it on your own account. <laughs> 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 it's the first time that I swear I actually liked the movie more than I have ever known in just in cinema cheddar. It's with Tom Edison, Brie Larson, Thomas Mann. And, and Samuel L. Jackson. And Samuel John C. Reilly. Yeah, and John C. Reilly. Okay, <laughs> no, what short, else? short summary. So basically, as you can tell from the title, Kong Skull Island, this movie is about the giant, what's the word? Not monkey, the, the gorilla. Monkey, gorilla. <laughs> Is that an English word? Anyway, King Kong, or just Kong, they always made uh, puns that he is a king, so... I didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay! <laughs> anyway, so this movie is basically, it's about an expedition in the 70s to this Skull Island where Kong lives. And yeah, it is led by... I don't even know who the lead character of this movie Monarch. was. No, I mean the the people, the individual people. <laughs> I didn't get so, any names. So there's there's Tom Hiddleston's character Conrad, who I Captain think Conrad. that was. I don't know if they named him that like on purpose because of Joseph Conrad, the author who always wrote about his expeditions in Africa. And then there was the other guy whose name I forgot, uh, who's played by Samuel L. Jackson. He's a uh, or something. He's yeah, with the military, and he basically has like a military a team of soldiers, and then there's also other people who Brie Larson's who, character who had a very strange name I can't remember. And Mason. She's, her name was Mason. No, her name wasn't Mason. Her name was like Neva. Or so. <laughs> I think that was her last name, but they didn't know she was a woman because her name was Mason. Um, yeah, she was a photographer. A war photographer, yeah. and then there was Thomas Mann. Smithko? Smithko? I, I, I couldn't I really liked him. He was a very young soldier. Then there was the scientists and... Yeah, the, oh yeah. Basically there were different groups. There were the scientists, the soldiers, and then like individuals like Tom Edison and Brie Larson who were just there to help, like as a bonus. Yeah, and basically they found Kong on this island and thought that he was trying to kill them when in reality he was just trying to save his area, whatever, I can't speak to them, I'm sorry. <laughs> and yeah, uh, then some other stuff happened, which now that, that, that I think about it, it's kind of weird to sum up because it basically ends in a giant fight. And yeah, that's... basically Kong tries to defend the animals and the people, the like native people people oh, of yes. this island because um, <coughs> underneath the ground there are some different monsters who don't have a name yeah. and they are way worse than Kong and um, the scientists and soldiers like try to like geographically map the island through explosions and those explosions cause holes and through those holes the bad bad monsters come and yeah, they fight. <laughs> yeah. Why, I like the movie. Why I like the movie? Why did you like the movie? Let's hear. <laughs> Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> Thomas Mann. John C. Reilly. John C. Reilly. I really John liked Reilly, John C. Reilly's though. character. I also liked uh, Tom Hiddleston's character because he was basically the only one with a brain in this movie. <laughs> um, then I liked Thomas Mann because he's cute. <laughs> and oh, it's a good reason. Yeah. I liked some of the nature shots, but not all of them. And I liked the music. Yeah. I liked the score and the soundtrack. 
and you can go on from here. <laughs> <laughs> Why I like the movie? I like the movie because it was a fucking blast. I don't know. It it didn't have a story that you had to think about a lot. Yeah, it didn't have a that story. That was good. <laughs> I mean, it had like it was, it was. It's a monster movie. What can you expect? It's monster versus monster. And basically, I had the same watching experience as I did with Godzilla, the God 2014 Godzilla movie, which I watched and I fucking loved. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't like it as much now when I, um, if I were to watch it now. But it's just so ridiculous. And I think, but Kong did. What Godzilla didn't do, it didn't take itself as seriously as Godzilla did. Because if you watch Godzilla, you're just like, you can make jokes all the time. And in Kong, the characters do all the jokes. So basically they, they take that. And I don't know, it was just, it was silly, but I don't know why I liked it so much. I just had a fun time. It isn't my new favorite movie. It isn't the best movie I've ever seen. It isn't the best movie. I've watched in theaters recently. I don't know. It's just it was fun. I think it was fun. I also liked the score. I liked. Um, I don't. I don't know if I liked Tom Hiddleston's character because he reminded me a lot of Leonardo DiCaprio's character in The Revenant, only like not as interesting. <laughs> I mean, this movie reminded me of The Revenant. It reminded me of The Revenant meets Alien and something else like Godzilla. I don't know. It was just. I had fun. I think I'm gonna watch it again. I'm not gonna buy it, but if I have the opportunity, I'm gonna watch it again. I'm gonna eat my popcorn and just have fun. What I didn't like, please take it from here. Take it away. Man, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I remember. Don't, don't apologize. This. this is fun. I love it. I really like this. I really didn't like this movie. <laughs> okay, let's start with the characters. So, none of the characters are actual characters. All of the characters are just types. Types of people you can find. We have the soldiers, the typical, typical soldier, like for example, Colonel, whatever his name was. Then you have the the decent, logical thinking guy, which was Tom Hiddleston. Then you have the the woman, which yeah. was Brie Larson. And then you have fucking the crazy person, John, John C. Reilly. Reilly. <laughs> and then you have the, the boy who is actually on the side of the soldiers but then realizes that he's doing the wrong thing and turns to the right side I mean, what the hell? <laughs> like, what was this? And then the fact that I felt like they thought they were making a serious action movie and then there were just like obvious punchlines where I just didn't feel the need to laugh. Like, I didn't find the jokes funny. I don't even know if they were supposed to be funny. Or if some things were just meant to be serious, but it just all felt so ridiculous to me. I don't know why, because I mean, I haven't seen Godzilla or like the <laughs> original King Kong movie, but it was just so. Everything was just so over the top and over dramatic and far more. I don't know. Just more whatever than it had to be. I'm not convinced. Mm -hmm. Also, I felt like the editing was really bad. Like, the cuts were too slow for me, and there were zooms where I was like, why? Yeah. I mean, yeah, Tom Hiddleston's pretty, but why? <laughs> and then... We know, we know he's pretty, <laughs> okay! And then, I mean, it had good CGI, but it yeah. could have had better CGI. I was thinking the I same. Mean, it's a monster movie with a giant gorilla, I mean... Please spend some money, <laughs> please. And there was um, there, there were some scenes at night where there were the northern lights. Mm, that oh. like <laughs> hello green screen. <laughs> What's up? That scene reminded me of the. Um, do you remember the the scene in the Dark Knight where Rachel and Bruce are standing on on the balcony of this party outside and are looking at yeah. the city? That looked. I was just like, oh my god, that looks exactly <laughs> the same. Anyway, yeah. I mean, the the city. I was. Weird a couple of times, I have to admit that. Um, wait, what? The monsters were so disgusting, honestly. There was a giant spider, like a 10 meter spider. Yeah, that was. But I don't know, it wasn't as disgusting to me as, for example, the spiders in um, Lord of the Rings. 
But because Whoa. it didn't move so fast. That was like yeah, I, I, it, I'm it, always glad. It, just, it was giant. And yeah, and it was, it was, it was slimy disgusting. and yeah, okay. bloody and disgusting. And all the animals were. They weren't monsters, they were just big animals. Yeah. Like animals that are like ten times the size they are supposed to be. And honestly, they were talking about giant giant um ants and Yeah. I didn't see any giant ants. I came for the giant ants. Yeah, your Anthony heart was disappointed. Rip Anthony. <laughs> I mean um with the editing or like the some of the effects I heard, but I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard that the director is actually a director of more like indie films mm -hmm. and I think that showed yeah because I mean all the shots of the sun and <laughs> like it was pretty and but I mean in the end like you have these beautiful landscape shots and everything and then in the end in the third act it's just fucking monster versus monster I mean what were they trying to do yeah I think the third act was like the one where it went down <laughs> I went to the cinema a lot lately, and this was the first movie in like maybe even a year where I was constantly looking at the clock because oh. I just I was like, yeah. how long is this going to go on? <laughs> Please, it was I said it when when the movie ended. This was the pinnacle example of human stupidity. Like, don't don't go to a strange island you haven't discovered yet. And, and bomb don't, it. Yeah, and don't drop fucking seismic bombs. Like, what the hell? Don't shoot everything you see. Don't burn everything down. There was a beautiful forest and like meters and meters of it were catching fire. Yeah. I, I just can't watch stuff like that because it's, first of all, it's too real. <laughs> Second of all, it's just plain stupid. <sighs> Use your brain. Why? Obviously, it's a bad idea to come there and shoot the biggest animal you've ever seen and think you can kill it with like a machine gun. Yeah. <sighs> no, what was it? I don't. I have no clue what about guns. I'm sorry. This isn't a perfect movie with a perfect story or anything like that. But I don't know. Maybe it's also because I'm just not a fan of monster movies. But I had so high expectations from the trailer. Really? Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't, like the I trailer. Didn't see the trailer. And I, I mean, think this I is, thought yeah. Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, John C. Reilly, Samuel L. Jackson, like, what can go wrong, but... Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, favorite character or eventual OTP? I didn't have an OTP in this, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> Tom Hiddleston and Thomas Mann. <laughs> Smithco, no, Smith? Smithco? I don't know. Smithco? Snithco? <laughs> Snipka. <laughs> and uh, 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 Conrad? Conrad, yes. <laughs> No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't definitely know. not Brie Larson and Dominic. No. Definitely not. I mean, I'm just happy that they just hugged mm. hugged in the end and didn't kiss. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh my god, don't kiss, don't kiss. Oh, thank you. If they had kissed, I would have thrown something at the screen. Yeah. I think my favorite character was probably Kong. My favorite character was probably the guy who killed himself with a grenade. Oh, yeah. Or I mean, the that guy... was tragic. All the, n not because he killed himself with a grenade, because of everything before that, yeah. but like, maybe also the guy... Not the one with the kid, but the black, the um, young black guy. The soda? The stupid one. Yeah, I know, yeah, he was He, he was, was funny. Cool. Yeah, he was and good. also, obviously, John C. Reilly, because he's yeah, funny. But John definitely not Samuel L. Jackson, not the scientist, no. not the major scientist, at least. Maybe it's my Smith Cook. <laughs> Smith Cook. I don't know what his name was. Yeah, John C. Reilly was... <coughs> I mean, I love John C. Reilly. I also love Samuel L. Jackson. I like the casting because in the beginning, um, like the very first scene in 1944, yeah. I like that you could... I At least I could instantly um, recognize that this was supposed to be like past John C. Reilly. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is gonna that be was, John C. Reilly's Yeah, character. that was really good casting. Mm. Any additions? Any? No. I don't know. I just... I, I was just feeling... When they mentioned the, the name of the company, what was it? Monarch? Monarch. I was, I was just like, I know where this is from, but I couldn't remember until the end. They had a fucking end credit scene at the very end of the credits. And we weren't even waiting for it. We yes. were just sitting in the cinema <laughs> because we, we couldn't be bothered to stand up. That was crazy. And then there suddenly was a scene and then like they showed pictures of Godzilla. And I was just like, uh, okay, I feel very... Uh, clever that I picked up on these clues, woohoo! But I mean, it was just some easter eggs that I liked. 
I mean, I'm easy to catch, but... I'm easy to... What? What am I trying to say? I don't know. You can catch me with Easter eggs. That's what I'm trying to say. I would like to add that I really like the songs in this movie, but yeah, I that's... didn't like how they were placed. Oh, really? Mm, I don't know how to put it into words, but they always begin. And then suddenly, they end it, like, ten seconds later. Yeah, okay. And I was like, mm, maybe play the whole song? Maybe play, like, half of the song, but not, like, play the first ten seconds mm. and stop playing the song? Yeah. Very abruptly. But the song choices were Yeah, the really song choices good. were great, really but they were weirdly put into place, I yeah. feel. But I don't I don't even know what why I didn't like this movie. I really don't know. I just know that I didn't like it. Yeah, I mean, just ask me about A Cure for Wellness. I would give you the exact same. Statement. Oh, we can talk about this later, but now why should you watch it? If you just want to, I don't know, I don't even know, just grab a beer, grab some popcorn, and watch this movie. You want, you don't have to think about anything. Literally, you don't have to concentrate yeah. on anything important. This is not the next Inception or something. Ugh, imagine if they were trying to do that. Yikes. Anyway, yeah. also don't watch it with high expectations. Just because you've seen the trailer, <laughs> just think, wow, that would be a phenomenal movie. <laughs> also, don't watch it if you don't like monster movies. Like, I've never, I've never liked monster movies. Honestly, I probably just went to see it because it's with Tom Hiddleston and that's not yeah. always the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> At least we have very different opinions for once. Yes, finally. Yeah. Rating. Out of 10? Out of 10. Out of 10 scars, I'm gonna give it... Six and a half. S solid. <laughs> Zero. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Three and a half. Yeah, Four. Yeah, six and a half, seven. I don't know. I had fun. I, I didn't. I, I can't sit here and tell you that I had a bad time watching this. Yeah. <clears throat> I did. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't a complete waste of time because directly before the movie started, there was a trailer for Spider Man Homecoming that I hadn't seen yet. And for Alien Covenant. And those were both great trailers. Yeah, I mean, the, the Spider-Man trailer, I, every time... I, I mean, I, and I'm not even the biggest Spider-Man fan. Because this person is sitting here. <laughs> but I mean, the, the trailers for Spider-Man get me so hyped for this movie, honestly. Also because, like, Demi Lovato is my favorite singer. And <laughs> yeah, she Confident was. is the song of the trailer. Yeah. And the German voice for Tom Holland is literally perfect. That was so it when was he was really talking, it was like, oh my really god. Great job, boys. Finally, they did something right. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Kong Skull Island. That was a journey. Yeah. An adventure. I'm gonna stop. Yes. Okay. Cheerio. Yo, bye. In Dubai. <laughs>